Good afternoon. Um, I'm going to make for you today, a lot of people can't roll homemade dumplings out, so I have a recipe using um, everything, and then you use canned biscuits for the dumplings. First of all, let's get our stock going, which is real simple. Um, I got a whole bag of seasoning blend that I have wilted down, 10 ounces. All the instructions and ingredients will be below, okay? I'm going to go ahead, let me get me a spoon. I'm going to put in the 10 ounce bag just in my pot. Okay. Sit that over there. Oh, give me just a second. I got to open my peas and carrots. I meant to do that before I started. And you want to drain those. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. I have a can of peas and carrots drained. I'm going to put that in there. Now, I have two 12.5 ounce cans of chicken I bought from Walmart. Juice and all goes in. And this is something you can throw together in 30 minutes, I promise you. And tastes amazing. Now, I have a quart of my homemade chicken stock that I made myself. I'm going to, and I have um, 32 ounces, another quart. Of, well, this is actually 48 ounces, I'm sorry. 48 ounces. I'll have all the quarts down below. Um... And I have water right here. I'm going to get this out. That's one. Two. Okay, that gives us three quarts. Sorry, squeeze that a little too hard. Four quarts. That gives us five quarts of total water and chicken broth mixed. Okay, we'll set all of my stuff to the side. Now for seasonings, I have, and I'll have all the measurements below. I have two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, um, a teaspoon of each garlic powder and onion powder, four teaspoons of my Neuer's chicken bouillon. And this is just to heighten the flavor. And that seasoning that I put in here has everything as celery, onions, and peppers. And you wanna give it a good stir. Now, you want to put this on the stove and bring it to a rolling boil and boil it for at least 10, 12 minutes before you taste it for seasoning. All right, now we'll put this over here. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. I'm gonna move everything out of the way. I need a Let's use a lid. <clears throat> because I'm making a big pot because I'm going to take someone some. I'm going to use every one of these canned biscuits. Let me wash my hands. Got some shears, cooking shears. I'm 
one thing I need to do first. And the flour that's on here to keep the things from some the dumplings from sticking, you will just put it in the pot too. It will give you a gravy. Okay. I'm going to open these because we're going to do all of them, and it won't hurt them to sit here on this flour. And as I said, this takes 30 minutes is to the point where you um all those ingredients that will be listed below in the instructions, you want to get that to a rolling boil. And then you want to cook these canned biscuits at a rolling boil. And you can turn them down to a simmer for 10, 12 minutes. Now, you just want to take your little can, and you can use the jumbo ones. These were just on sale. And you just want to stretch them out a little bit, about like that. And then you just take your your scissors, and you cut them to the size you like, like that. And look, you can even tear them if you want. And you see how I'm doing that? I'm going to do all of these, and then when I get them all done, and um, my um, dumpling mixture is at a rolling boil, um, I will bring you back. And there again, you're just cutting them like that. They're going to swell up and puff up, and they're going to, you can break them up. You can do pretty much whatever you like. But I will bring you back shortly. And as I said before, I will have all the instructions and ingredients down below. So be right back. Okay, it's only been about five minutes. My um, pot still is not even boiled. I switched these to a bowl and I've already tossed them in the flour. I cut um, all four cans of tin into four quarters. So that's how many it is. Or you could use two jumbo cans of biscuits and cut them into six or eight pieces. It would be about the same thing. But as I told you, I'm making a large pot. All right, we'll be back when the water's boiling, when the broth is boiling. I'm sorry, been a long morning. All right. Okay, I am back and this is boiling and it's starting to come to a rolling boil. I'm going to bring my dumplings over and I've tasted it for seasoning. Tastes perfect. And you literally just want to start dropping them. I got my spoon there to help me when I need it. You want to drop them, don't drop them in a clump. Drop them one or two in different spots. Let's take you out for just a second. See them swelling up? And you could use them all, you might not, and you might want to come back and add a few more later. And these are the absolute cheapest canned biscuits they had. And you can do this with beef as well, with beef stock. Just want to make sure they're separated when you drop them. And as I said before, all that flour is going to go. Okay. Just want to push them down in there. 
Don't want to stir them hard. They're going to puff up. Just sort of want to turn them over. Push them down in the broth. Now we have a few more and I want that flour to go in there with them. Because that flour is going to thicken it. Okay. Let me wash my hands right quick to get the flour off of them. I'm coming. Don't boil over on me. Uh oh, here we go. And whenever it's like that, just turn it down. Stuff happens, it's going to boil over. It's real life. But after these cook and sit for a while, they'll thicken up and they'll stop floating like that. Just keep pushing them down in there. And they are absolutely amazing. Here's some chunks of chicken and stuff. And as I said, after you bring it to a boil, this is a 30-minute meal. should not take you no longer than 30 minutes. As long as it takes you to add all the stuff to the pot and cut those canned biscuits up and bring it to a rolling boil, that's all it should do. Have one jump ship. Mm. Very good. I tasted it. And almost done. See how they're starting to deflate and go down? And you're getting that thick gravy. Turn it back up just a little. And you can put a lid on this, but I just stand there and stir them. It's not going to hurt either way. You could turn them down real low, put a lid on them, but they're almost done. Give me a saucer. Let's see, I want to look at one of these bigger ones. Let's look at that one. See? Keep that to when you taste it. And as I said, I'll have all instructions and ingredients and everything below. And then you could push them down and cut them a little bit to the sides if you want them a little smaller. I mean, this is yours. Make it your own. A lot of people don't put peas and carrots in theirs, but my grandmother knew me to put peas and carrots in theirs and celery and onions and stuff. So, so I've always done it. And if you like them a little bit more thicker, you can add a couple more big tablespoons of um, flour, self-rising, or plain, or... You could add a can of cream of chicken soup, which I'm not going to do because I just like it like this. So. And it'll thicken itself. But I am going to put a lid on whenever I stop the video. I'm trying to see if, yep, done. All these are done. And as I said before, this was a 30 minute meal. And I'm going to um, stop the video here and I'm upload it. And I will add full instructions and ingredients below. And they are absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Look at that. Just absolutely delicious. All right. Well, thank y'all for watching. I hope this helps. Um, I know a lot of people can't roll up dumplings and I thought this would be a help and I just so happen to have 
a couple um, things of homemade stock in the freezer. I've got one of those out, and then I have other chicken stocks so, to make up my six quarts. And this is a, I think, an eight quart pot. So, but thank you for tuning in. Hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.